Hey everybody, Kanji here with another playthrough. Um, this time we're going to be playing Proving Grounds by Renegade Games. Um, this is the first, and let me see if I point in the right direction. Yes, I got it right on the first go. Um, this is their first um, in the solo player series that they're building up. I know they had another Kickstarter recently. I think it was called like Warp something. <laughs> but um, this is the first one in their... I played through this twice and it was a lot of fun. So I wanted to share it with you all and just let me know how it goes. So let's get some information. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna go up to this guy and we're gonna say up here is the information from BGG. So Proven Grounds got a 6.9, um, which to me is average for BGG. Um, if, if Board Game Geek gives something a like a four or below, that's where a lot of the community doesn't like it. But a 6.9 close to a seven means that it, it has some traction. I can see why the game is fun, um, but I can, un I can also understand why people wouldn't like it. So this is the type of game that is very um, fast paced. You have a timer. You have dice rolls, you have a timer and dice rolls. So a lot of people might not like the stress of a timer and dice rolls. But for those who do, you'll find that it's it's fast. It's not it's not a game that's gonna last. There's no campaign to it. There's a story, um, your Maya Stone Strongheart, sorry, and you have come for the two queens to claim the throne. One of them is and especially is one is the one that you're going after. But should you win in the uh you you challenge trial by combat, and you basically say, okay, I'll take on all of you, and if I beat you all, I become queen. And they're like, so you go down to the pit, and you fight, and you have to fight, um, you have to defeat eight foes, and you're facing six at a time. So when we get down to the table, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll explain everything as you go. Um, there's an app that helps you keep track of time, or you could just use an egg timer or your phone or whatever you want to do to do a timer because each round is a minute. So, yeah. Uh, games like this are kind of like Five Minute Dungeon, which if you haven't played Five Minute Dungeon with a group of people, it's amazing, stressful, but amazing. So um, this is along those lines. So let's take it to the table, check it out, and see what's going on. All right. so. This is the setup of it. Nothing big. Rule book. This is actually a book that they wrote that has the entire story of what transpired for you to make it to the Proven Grounds and what happens after the Proven Grounds. So it's a full, completed story. There's no part two, part ten, whatever. This is it. All here. So if you love, if you love a really nice story, and it is. It's, it's really well written. I read through it about twice. So um, if you like it, this this comes with the game. You don't have to buy it separate. Um, there's an app, which I know it's kind of washed out on my iPad, so you can't really see what it is. But this app, um, I wonder if I can lower the, see if I can lower the um, contrast at all on it. I'm not an iPad guy, so I will fight with it constantly. Nope, that won't do it. I probably can lower it on the contrast and make it less terrible, but we move on. All you can, all, this is my timer, but it's also just kind of tells you how to play the game. There are multiple variants that come with the game. Like I said, all this stuff is in the box. So there's no expansions to buy. There's nothing extra to where you'll be like, okay, well, I like this game, but I have to play this other one. This is the base game setup. So you get um, eight dice, two, four, six, eight dice to start off with. And this is going to be your combat to roll. This is your exhausted dice section. So as I take wounds, I will be stacking dice will be coming out of my rolls and coming on to here. And as the rounds go by, they'll be ticking down. For this base version of the game, we stack these three dice here on this health track. So you see the heart here. That's my health track. So when I get down to this bottom health, I die, I lose. But when I get to this one, I can start swapping out dice for what I'm looking for. <clears throat> and you'll see what that looks like as we go. Object of the game. These up here, don't, don't worry about those right now because those are some of the variants. I'm going to play one regular and then I'm going to play one with one of the variants just to see how, just so you can see how different the makeup is. 
Uh, is the app necessary to play? No, no, it's not. It's not. Um, the app is just purely aesthetic. I mean, you just need a phone with a one minute timer and you're good. You can use your cell phone and you're fine. Um, so the app is not necessary. Um, what you can do is we did our setup. So these are the guys that we're going to be fighting. And remember, we have to defeat eight, right? So, you know, my usual, I shuffle for, shuffle for shenanigans. That might become my uh, new, everyone has a catchphrase. Maybe I need one, I don't know. Maybe I don't. But I do the shuffle for shenanigans. Or shuffle for no shenanigans. And we go through. And then we just draw, um, we draw up the six. So these are the ones that we're gonna fight. Warrior in training, the Brad Knight guard, another Brad Knight guard, Queen's bodyguard, another Queen's bodyguard, and a warrior in training. So if you notice on their card, and I'll lift this warrior in training up that you can see, the two warrior in trainings are different. They're not the same. And let me focus in so you can see. So you can see, like, they'll start off here. This is them hitting me. So they'll start off here. I have to give this amount of sets to move up, this amount of sets to move up. And on this one, they have to be in that color. Green, uh, I need a green or a yellow to go along with, with that matching set to hit this one. So how we start it off is we put their target tokens on here. And some of them have a build. This one says green dice count as two dice hits against this enemy, and I need four to move it up, and one, and he stabs me. So that's how we fight. I roll the dice. When the timer goes off, I roll the dice. I try to get matches. If I get a single number for that number, they're going to move down, and when they move down low enough, they hit me, which with these ones is just one and they hit me. But if I don't get a number for them, I don't get hit, if I get a match, like for instance, this guy here needs three. So if I have three fives, when it's his turn. Wow, this says blue and green dice count as two each. So if I get that, actually what would happen with this guy is this is counts as two. So this is two, four, and five. So um, I would move up one because it's three. It's not enough to be six, but you can jump them if you have enough numbers. So you can stack, build it up. So no numbers, no hit. One number moved down until hit, and matches, just matches whether it hits or not. And that's pretty much it. That's the rules. It sounds complicated. It's not. We keep rolling dice, and we keep re-rolling dice. So, but you can only re-roll, this is the trick. You can only re-roll matches. So let's say we got, where's that one? This here, and then this five. I can't be like, oh, I need to re-roll this five. You can't. You have to re-roll the one, two, or three. That's the trick, right? So I'd have to do this. It's like, oh man, it's a four, five, six, nothing. I gotta do the twos, uh, two fours and threes. I really need threes, but I'm gonna re-roll this. Two ones, I'm still stuck with that, so I'm gonna re-roll the threes. Uh, four, this was a five. So, then there's one, so that's even terrible. So I'd re-roll this and just keep going, keep going until the timer runs out. And when the timer runs out, we resolve. So, shuffle for shenanigans it is. All right, so. We're gonna go to, oh wait, I don't want that. I don't want that. Oh, I guess they were doing that. Let's do the feet, main menu. All right, so advanced game means that these are the different modules that are on there. So we're not gonna be doing an advanced game because we're not doing, though we'll, I'll show you these ones in the second playthrough. So it is a training game. So as soon as I hit training game, it starts. Ready? Let's go. All right, so we're ready. We're all set up. So we got sixes, ones, twos, sixes. I got matches. Pause. That's the end of the round for me, right? So I'll say end of the round. So I've got four sixes. Sixes are here. I've got twos. I've got one. So for it to make this person go up, I have to have three ones, but I only have two. So they don't go up or down. For this one, I need three dice where blues and greens count as double. That doesn't go up. But then I come over here 
and it says I need a green and two to go up, so this one goes up, but then I need a green or yellow and another two to go up, so that doesn't do it. So that ends that round. I didn't kill anybody, I just moved one up. This exhaust, this comes in my hand, these moves down for the next round. I didn't defeat anybody, and then I go, next round. Go. All right, so let's try to get some stuff here. So three, 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 four, four, one and six. I don't want to get hit. Uh, four, five, ugh, this is working out pretty bad. Uh, six, two fours, and a one. I'll reroll the threes. Uh, four sixes, ugh. Let's see, one, one, five, four, and three. I'll reroll the fours. Three, three, five, five, one. There we go. Let's see what we got. So we got that. Three and five so ones i got one two three i need three plus to do it so that moves up this one blue and yellow dice count uh blue and yellow dice count as twice against this enemy but i got three i needed four no go this one green dice count as twice so this is two and two four that moves up one i'm getting some breathing space <laughs> and that comes in my hand and round i didn't kill anybody yet next one Go. Uh, four, three, one, six, three. I need four or two of a six. I got two of a six. Threes is not enough. Uh, fours, ones, twos. Ooh, roll that. Six, two. Uh, I have to reroll all sixes. Um. Five. You can't reroll part of them. You have to do all of them. Fives. The two fives. Oh no. Um. Twos and a three. Uh. I'll reroll the ones. Um. Two. Four. Oh, this is not what I want. Uh. Seventeen seconds left. Got a two, a five, a bunch of sixes, a one, and a four. I don't need all those sixes. Two, two, four. One and six, I'll reroll the fives. Four, two, two, ah, time's up. This is the stress factor in here, right? So I got four, a bunch of twos, six, and a one. So because I got one, they got in, so they'll move down one. Luckily, it isn't a, it isn't a, uh, a hit. This one here, blue and green dice count twice against this enemy. So this is two, three, four, five, six. So two, three, one, two, three, that goes up that much. Then we come over here. Uh oh. This guy, I only oh wait, no, that's the red, that's the exhaustion die. Woo! I almost got scared. This one is I need three and I need a green. I got a green with uh, to make three, that moves up. And I get all my dice back, and I didn't defeat an enemy yet, and I need to be eight. Let's go. So I got all my dice. All the dice. Um, six, 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 five, uh, five, one, two. We rolled sixes. Uh, four, three, and three. Let's pause there. No, I had a two. Ah! I didn't see the two. Oh well, I paused it. I stopped the fight. Four, three, and so five green dice. Well, one. I need three. No go. Two. I got one, which moves him back down one. Three. I got two. He needs four. Um, blue and yellow count twice, so this is three, not four. Not enough. Three. Green counts um, as two this time, so green is two, that moves it up here. But I need four more to go that. So if I hit the top of this, I beat him. And then this one with the six moves back down. I didn't get hit yet, but it's not looking nice. Okay. Uh, five, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. one, <laughs> and that's the ba-ba-ba -ba -ba of confusion. Um, one, one, one. Six and two. Um, fives, I need a green for five. So let me reroll these ones. 
I know ones can hit me if I mess up. Two, two, one, and three. Give me another one. Uh, three. This isn't gonna work. All right, two ones, threes, fives, threes. I still got a two. The two I'm safe from. The three. I just need three to go up. Two sixes. I can go up with six. I cannot go up with five, so I'll reroll. Ooh, the ones will. Yeah, I'll reroll the ones. Um, two, three. Um, I'll stop there because I got three seconds left. So, end of the round. So, five, two, six, and a whole bunch of threes. So, threes need four. One, two, three, four, five. I have five. That moves them up. I mean, the threes do, sorry. Um, that doesn't do anything. This one, I need four. Green counts as two. So it's just three. Bah, humbug. And then this one here, I need two. One, one is, has to be a yellow. That's enough. So that goes up. All right. Ah! I dropped, I dropped my blue die. I gotta pause it for a second. Uh, I dropped my blue die. There we go. All right, let's continue. All right, so it's four, four, three, five, three, two, threes. I've got enough to move up, but I just need two. Twos, I need three, but I don't need that yellow. Four is not going to do me any good. So twos, I can move up. Threes. <sighs> Let's see, fives, I need a green. So fives won't move up or down. Threes will go one, two up, but just it'll go up one. Twos, uh, blue counts as double, so that's two, three. So I'll go up one, and fives, nothing. All right, let's, and now I'm gonna go really crazy on the next one. So threes and twos. Oh, these are all twos. So these are all twos that got spilled over. Um, so twos, blues count as two, so two, three. That's enough, but not enough to get the five to beat it. I'm getting close. This one, I need a two to go up, and then five now to defeat this guard. And then this one, nothing happens. All right. If I get hit, bad things happen to me and my dice, so I'm trying not to get hit. Ugh. All right, three, 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 six, six, two, four, and one. One will hit me if I don't re-roll, so I'm gonna re-roll these threes. Uh, all the threes went to fives. Uh, that's actually good. I can beat them on five. I'll re-roll the fours. All sixes. Um, that's not enough. Come on, give me a one. So three, three, another five, a two, and a six. Okay, so I can beat one of them. So I'm gonna stop there. So a bunch of fives. Ones, threes, and twos. So ones, nope. Twos, I need five. Threes, I need five. But this dude. So greens count as twice. So that's two, three, four, five, six. That's way more than enough. So I beat this guy. He is the first enemy of eight that I have to beat. Then I draw the next card. The moon queen representative comes out. Why are they always so high? Um, and I defeated one. And then I go to the next round. So this is the base game, they call it training, right? Um, when you get into this, it just runs through cycles. Then when we get into the, um, one of the variants, I'll let you see how terrible this can be. Okay, I don't need anything coming for this game. Um, so this is two. I got a one, four, and five, that's not good. Uh, bunch of twos that I don't need. Uh, sixes, fives. Fours, ones, and a three. Will I get hit by a three? No. Three will go back down. Four here will go up. Five, nothing. Six, I can kill six. All right, end round. So one, three, four, five, and six. Six, I need two where one of them is a green. That's enough, so I kill that one. One defeated. Draw my next enemy, the Sun Queen representative. Ooh. 
Let's see. The frantic energy reminds me a little of uh, Magic Maze. I haven't played Magic Maze. I, I looked at it uh, once, but I wasn't sure. Uh, I wasn't sure too much about it. So I'll have to check it out now that it's if it's like this. This is like I said, it's a lot of fun uh, when you're in it. But I can understand a lot of people. I don't hate that. A lot of people not liking it because they'll say um, it's just too much or it's too stressful. Like I, I get that, but for me, I don't know. The excitement's in it. So I need three moves up. Nothing happens here because I need five over here. Nothing happens because I need three. But over here, I need three. So you move up one, and then uh, you. Nothing happens because I thought you would be more than that. <laughs> All right, I've defeated two. I haven't taken any damage. And if anybody watched my Dark Souls playthrough yesterday, you'll know I take a lot of damage. Uh, let's see, five, five. So I've got a three, four, that's not good. Sixes, I need a yellow on a six to do something. So um, fours, I got a bunch of ones. That's not gonna help me much. Um, one. Ah, uh, five, two, whoa, that is not good. Um, threes, I'm gonna reroll these fours. One, one, four, reroll the twos. This is, I forgot what this was. This was a five, I think. Five, no, that wasn't a five. This must have been a three. Um, two fours, fives, ones, three, reroll these. Two threes, a five, and a six. Let's see what happens. So ones, nope. Twos, nothing. Threes, blues count as twice. That's two, three, almost. Nothing on four, five. I need three. One, two, three. Up one. And then I need three with either blue or yellow. And then six. I didn't hit, so that goes back down. Uh, let's see. You need a group. You're trying to navigate four meeples through a maze to collect. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that sounds frantic. <laughs> that sounds very frantic. All right, here we go. Um, two, one, 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 six, two, five, and a four. I'm going to reroll. These ones could kill that guy. So let me reroll these twos because I need five for him. Um, six, I got a four, and a three. I need three for six or else he's gonna hit me. He's the only one that can hit me. E, er, uh, four. There's this two, they came two sixes. Um, uh, I don't wanna reroll all the sixes, but I will. Uh, I got another one, another one, why? Um, a three. I gotta reroll all the ones now. Um, reroll the fours. Oh, come on. Reroll the twos. Time's up. <laughs> okay, so let's see what happened. Um, okay, let's see what happened. So, one, three, <laughs> five, two. Uh, let's see. So one, nothing. Two goes down one. Three, I need five, and yellows count twice. That's way more than enough. I beat him. So one defeat. Next card comes out. Moon Queen, another Moon Queen rep. Uh, nothing happens there. All right. Five to go. Five to go. We could do this. Five to go. Ah, uh, six, six. We got, we got lots of sixes. We got ones. We got your fours. We got um sixes. Sixes can hit me. I need that. Ones, I'm okay with. I can reroll those. Ones are sixes. I can't have all these sixes because you have no reason. So reroll them all. Six, six. Okay, good. Four, five, five. Two and three. Can three hit me? Three can hit me. I'm gonna reroll the twos. Please give me a three. 
I'm gonna reroll the fours. Give me three, please. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Five. So threes. These are all threes. All fives. And so threes. I need a three to go up. That's cool. Fives. I need at least one of them to be yellow. They are yellow or blue. They are six. I need a three. Go up one. All right. Here we go. So the field three. So the next uh, version that I'm going to show you. Every single time I defeat somebody, uh, I get restricted in some fashion, and it's not cool. It's not cool. Uh, oh wait, that's a five. Five, five, and a four. Can a four hit me? A four can't hit me. A one, I need four. A two, I need three. Five, I need better, so I need to reroll this. Come on, give me a five. Give me a five, one of you. You went back to twos. You went to twos. Why? Okay, six. Six, six. All sixes. Gee. Right, one, 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 six. Four, that was one. No threes, no four, the fours, but I don't have a three. Can a three hit me? Can a three hit me? A three can't hit me. A five, not enough to go up. A six, doesn't matter. All right, so one, three, four, five, and six. Ones, I need a four to beat. Nope. This one goes down one. This one, I need a three, goes up one. This one I needed two, one of them had to be um, blue or yellow, and this one, one of them had to be yellow, which would have been fantastic. I'm close to getting hit. And go! Uh, let's see, so we've got four, 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 uh, six, one, two, two fives. So let's see, one, no go, two, at least I won't get hit. Four, I can beat four. Five, I need I need to reroll the ones. Just give me a just give me a five. Give me five. Yes, I got a five. And a two. Um so five I can defeat. Six I can't beat, but I can beat some other ones, so I'll stop there and end the round. So six, five, two, and four. Four needs three. I beat four. Sweet. Draw a new one. And this one needs three. Blues are count at blues and greens count twice. So um two, three, that's enough to move up one. Five. I need two. One of them has to be this. Perfect. Beat the minute beat you. I'm so close. So then we go here. And then six, nothing happens because it needs one of them needs to be a yellow. So we're close. Three to go, three to go. And I haven't been hit. That could all change right now. All right, so we've got ah, three, three. I'm getting too excited. Calm down, Kanji, calm down. Uh, one, so I got these guys. Threes, I care not for you because I'm not going to defeat you. Okay, ones, fives, and twos. What about fours? Fours can hit me. Twos, I can't beat you. Fours, sixes, fives. Okay, so one, I need four, that, that's not enough. Five, I need two, I'll go up one here. If you assign a single die and move this battle marker down two spaces, oh no, so uh, I'm not doing that there. So I can't do singles on five, period. Six, I can't beat you because I don't have a yellow. Four, where's four? So I'll move up four, five, I won't get hit. One, I need four. I've got three. Okay. That's the end of the round. That's a sign, so no go. I won't get hit. So this guy here is interesting. It says on his card, and that's what I was reading really fast, if I only assign one die to him, he's going to move twice down on the track. Well, already he's going to hit me, but if I move him up, one, if I assign one die, he'll bump down twice. So I have to be careful of fives. Um, I just raise this guy up one. I think that's all I do this round. 
Alright. Alright, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Two, two, three, two, 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 uh, five, two, one, three, um, six. I can actually go up on you. So I'm keeping sixes. Fives, I can't have that one. I gotta find another five. I gotta find another five. Oh my goodness, I gotta find another five! All right, five, I'm safe. Six is good. No, six is too much. Six is too much. Uh, three roll sixes. Um, three, six, I got, a, I got a bunch of fives. No, not a bunch of fives. Ah! Um, so we go here. I got two fives, okay, I'm safe. A four, a six, a bunch of ones. I got four ones so I can defeat that one. But I've got a two and a three, so a two will go down one. A three will hit me. I'll reroll these fours. I can't reroll the fours. Uh, so they're fours. Time ran out on me. All right, so they're fours. Okay, so four, five, ones. Oh my gosh. I didn't see how bad this was. Two and three. All right, so. Let's take it in order. So the ones, there's four. I defeat this guy. He goes down. Get a new one out. So it says, if you assign a single to this enemy, move their vital marker up one space. If you, if you assign a set to this enemy, move their marker down. So if I get ones, I can just stick with ones, and that's what I need to beat that clan elder. This guy, I only got that on, so he goes down one. This one hits me, and when it hits me, I exhaust the die, and I move down a health, uh, and then they reset. This one, I need three, didn't work. This one, I needed two, goes up one, thank goodness. This one goes down one. So I lost one die when I got punched in the face, and I lost one health. Hey, look at her, how's it going? All right, I've got six. I've got six, I need two more. I need two more. Come on, we can do this. Ah, um, two, three. I've got a single five. Bad. I need a single one. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I'll reroll these threes. All right, I got a five. I'm safe. I got a bunch of twos, though. Um, Bunch of fives. Why a bunch of fives? Uh, one, a four, three, a six. I'm gonna reroll these fives. I'm gonna pay for this. I know it. Uh, you were a four, and you were a three. Uh, six is over here. Now I've got all these silly singles. No, I don't want this. I don't want a bunch of ones. Um, so I want one, one, two fives, a three. I got three fives and a four. Four will go down one. It won't beat me up so bad. I'm okay with this. I can live with this life. One, three, six, four, and five. So, so one single moves up one. Um, that nothing. This guy moves down one. Uh, they, they need a three. Goes up one. Thank gravy. Um, and this one needs a yellow. Well, no, this one needs three because it went down, and I have three, so that goes up one. Then the exhaustion dice comes down one. And we go to next turn. Woohoo! Um, one, one, two, two, four, and a single six. I don't want a single six. And I don't want I, I don't want a bunch of ones. I just want one one. So I got two sixes, a bunch of twos, and a five. I don't want one five. Uh six, four, four, a bunch of threes. Uh, sorry, a bunch of fours, I mean. Uh come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh six, six, two, bad, very bad. Reroll this. I shouldn't be rerolling this. Six. Oh, come on. Alright, so I gotta reroll all these sixes. Uh, two sixes. Uh, three fives. Two ones, which I don't want. 
I got a one, five, a level four hit me, a four is gonna hit me, uh, two sixes, it's not a yellow, a five, and time's up, it doesn't matter what I care about. So, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One moves up one. This one needs three, doesn't matter. This one hits me, I move down a health. I exhaust another die. And then he moves back up. This one needs three to be defeated. I got enough. I've beaten you. One more. One more. And this one needs a yellow to move up. Uh, yep, that exhaustion die, that moved down. This one moves down because I got hit that round. Nope, it's here. That's right. That's perfect. I almost messed that up. All right, one more to go. Here we go. Come on. A single one, that's all I need. Uh, there's the one, two, gotta make sure I also don't die. Uh, two, three, and a five. Will a three hit me? A five will hit me. A three will hit me, so that's two health down. But the fours won't. I'll, t I'll take it. So let's assign. I'll take the two hits because I can take uh, three, three, four, and five. So one goes up, defeated him. Twos, and a three goes up. This one hits me for one, so I hit this die where I get to pick one of those dies that I want. This one just needs two to go up one. This one needs two to go up one. I've defeated eight. Hail me, hail me, the defeater of eight. I've defeated eight, and that's basically the base training game, right? Um, you play it, you have to beat eights, a lot of dice rolling, a lot of, a lot of craziness going on, but they have variants. And let me save my score. I'm gonna save my score. Uh, All right, so that's the feeding of eight. I've won. Um, let's see. Now we're gonna reshuffle these and I'm gonna include shielding and, and um, <clears throat> conspirator variants. Which now you'll see if because you play the game, you're like, yeah, it's a lot of dice rolling and repetition. Kanji, that's that's cool and all, but it's not lasting. Let's introduce the variants and let's see because there's multiple variants in this game. There is a dragon variant where you fight with a dragon. There's a sun and moon variant where if you turn your back on somebody and you miss, they they inflict you with damage and you lose dice and you only gain dice if you're in the sun mode of someone which is this one here. So basically what you do is you put this on here with this little pack thingy and you say who you're gonna face. You can't face the same person um, round after round, so you have to spin and move. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn and say, okay, well, I'm gonna face this way, all right? So let's say I face that way. If, um, if I hit this guy and, and bump him up, these dice will be here and I get to pick, okay, I'm gonna pick a green die this round and go with it. If I get hit by the guy in the back, I lose dice. If I get hit by anybody, I lose dice. Uh, and I think I lose a colored die if I get hit by a guy in the back. So it, it really messes with the mechanics of the game in terms of um, getting you all squirt, all kind of posed. All right, so, I mean, the, the battle, me the mechanic of fighting people still happens, so that's, that's the sun and moon, right? The dragon phase is that you actually have a dragon die, and that die is, you have a little dragon guy. He helps you out, I haven't popped him out yet. But you get this lovely little dragon die that you roll with the rest of the dice, and these symbols mean something. So on this guy's card, you see the claw? So you would flip this guy over, and it'll say what happens when you hit him on the claw and stuff like that. So. That's a variant. Um, there's a variant where you have like family armor, but you only get to pick one. And so you get to use that armor. There are chariots. 
a chariot variant. There's a whole deck of chariots that you get that basically comes out. So it's it's basically been her that happens uh, during that run. So and if you've and I don't know if I'm dating myself if I say Ben Hur, but if you know what Ben Hur is or who and what movie that is, then you'll understand the chariot races because that made that movie amazing. Uh, so, all right, we shuffle it up. We're gonna go with the conspirators. Now, conspirators are interesting. Notice that there are six cards. That means for the conspirators, and it won't matter. I don't have to hide them. Right, I'm just hiding them from you so you don't see all of them. But there are six cards, which means there are, di there are six dice rolls. When I defeat somebody, a conspirator comes out. One comes out to start, and we're going to shuffle these up, and it's just going to be what it is. When I defeat someone, another conspirator will come out, and the conspirators, if you follow the story, you'll understand why they're called the conspirators. Um, and I don't want to spoil it for people who like lore and stuff like that, like me. Um, I'm that type of guy who... Uh, when World of Warcraft first released, I went into the um, the monastery, like where the library is, and I actually, after I cleared it, I went back and read the books so I could read the lore. Yeah, I'm a lore nerd. So it probably explains why I like D&D so much. But um, basically what they, what they did was, uh, well, like I said, I won't spoil it for people who like lore and want to get the game, but it, it's a really good story how they build it up. So the first conspirator out is... Uh, the main one, <laughs> Ben Hur's old, the the original Ben Hur, not not the not the remake. Uh, so Queen Brianna, this is the first conspirator. So it says, add one of your dice to the exhaustion track to start. So to start, there's three, and I add one. So now I start off with that less dice. Uh, these are still stacked up here on the health because I'm not doing the sun and moon. But I'm going to play with uh, Conspirators, and I'm going to play with Shield. And what happens with Shields is if I roll, if I put one die on a creature, on a character, and I don't hit them, or they hit me, let me see if I say that right. If I put, if I hit a creature, but don't, uh, if I swing at a creature with one die, they, they move down, they get a shield. I cannot hit them until I break their shield with a single die. So basically, it stacks them up. So it moves them down one, gives them a shield. I need to roll a single on them to break the shield. They won't move down, but I break the shield, and then I can try to move them back up. So I'm going with the shield variant and the conspirator. So we'll go advanced game. We'll say we're using the conspirators, and we're using shields. And then we are... Oh, I didn't draw. <laughs> I probably need to do that. So blues and yellows counts twice for this guy. I might die this round, but at least I won one round. So all hail Mia, Maya Stone Strongheart. I'm saying Stoneheart. I've been I've been reading too much uh, Song of Ice and Fire. All right, start game. So we're all set up, we've got the shields, we've got the conspirators, and we've got the base game. Let's kick it! Roll less die. All right, five, five, one, three, six, two, and two. Bad, 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 bad. One isn't gonna help me. This is, I, don't, I forgot what dice that was. My brain went sour. So three, two, and six. We got three, three, ones. Ones aren't gonna help me. Too many threes. Uh, six, 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 six. Oh my word, this is not working out for me already. Ooh. Oh no! Five. <laughs> I need to reroll a five. Like, all of them are different. Um, three and a two, three, three, six and four. Uh, we roll twos. Uh, that's what it is. Four, six, and two. So blues and yellows would count as two, but they don't, so I get hit. 
and then this one resets. This one needs three dice to move up once, it bumps up one. This, oh, and since it was one die, shield, um, nothing happens here. This one hits me. <laughs> and because I hit one, he gets shield. And this one needs two, one of them being yellow. Perfect, moves up. Exhaustion dice come back. The shifts, the shifts. I roll the die. Roll one die to see if this happens. It's a five, so that doesn't happen again. Next round. Uh, three. So you see the dynamic shift of me having to throw a shield up, so that'll break one shield. I'll hit two. Four will hit me again. Three will hit me. I gotta reroll two. Uh, four. One, I gotta reroll ones because that won't do anything. Six, five, three. I gotta roll these sixes. Um, three, three. Six, fours, I can move four up, but at the cost of my life, um, this is a five. We roll these threes. And I'm operating with less dice. Not cool. So I got a one, twos, I'm stopping there. One, two, five, and six. Six is perfect, I kill six. So that's one down, but check this out. When I draw a new one, you're like, hey, you did one. I draw a new conspirator. And new conspirator is Tia Strongheart, who is my sister. And she has that scary look in her eye. And she is someone that Maya has to fight in the pit. Ooh, let me get that right. My blurry, blurry. There we go, a lot better. So now if I roll a three, one set of your, one set of your choice dice becomes a single this, this round. That's awful. So one of my sets is already bad. Uh, this one, I break the shield. It doesn't go down. Uh, this one, I need a green or a blue. Nothing, nothing. This one, two, goes up one. I get a die back. These two come in. And yes, as you exhaust dice, you stack them on. Like there's not pushing. It just stacks up. You have a whole tower of dice rocking around. So I roll a white die to see if I roll a three or a six. I roll a one, nothing happens. Then we go to the next round. I'm out of focus, am I back in focus? Uh, let me pause. Am I back in focus? That's better? Okay, cool. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of went kind of a little, kind of zoom, so hopefully that's back. All right. I'm not looking and go. So three, two, six, one, one, two, five, six, threes. I don't want to get hit by you, but the one, I need at least a four. Oh my gosh, this is way too many ones. Yeah. Uh, two, this was a two, two, one, one, four, two. I can hit two now. But I've got a five and a six and a one. One's not gonna help me. Um, four, five, six is gonna cut me deep. Um, fives, I can move five up with the clan elder. Four, I can even move four up. Huh, but I don't want that six. Um, so five, two, too many twos. Not one, one, no. Roll this. Um, fives, fives. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so twos, um, threes, sixes, and ones. So I'm going to get hit again. Uh, twos, threes, and sixes. So one's going to hit me. He's going to gain a shield. I'm going to go here, which means I can pick one of these dice, and I'll do that in a second. This one, I need a blue or a green to bump up. This one, I need three, and I need a green. Counts as two. This one, I just need two. So move up here. Okay. Exhaustion dice come back this round. I need greens or blues, so I'm going to grab this green. You can only grab one. You can't grab all. You can only grab one. 
I got all my dice back. Alrighty, uh, one, 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 two, two, three, 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 two, a six and a five. Bad, bad, bad. I will roll this. Bunch of threes, and a two there. We roll these threes. Um, two, four, five, bunch of twos, lots of twos. Oh, I gotta reroll these twos. <laughs> um, uh, six, six, four, six, stop. All right, one means nothing. I should have looked up. I was so nervous this was a six. I should have looked up. I was not nervous. Or should I say I was nervous? So, because they have a shield, this means nothing. Uh, but they don't go down. Because he has a shield, this means nothing. Uh, goes up one. Goes up for two. So one, two. And then I need a yellow two to beat this one. But I can only... This one says you cannot move up more than once on that marker, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. All right. I need a one, 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 four, and that's, uh, oh, I see the clan elder. If I don't attack this guy, he will move down one no matter what. I gotta keep, I gotta keep attached to that. So if I didn't do that last time, oh, I ended the round. Ah! <laughs> dice everywhere, dice everywhere. There we go. Oh, I gotta put the green back. Oh no, I'll, I'll take that green. You put it back and then you choose which one you're gonna pick next. I'm, I'm still one green. So two, two, five, 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 four, four, six, six. I have to hit him at least once. Um, twos, twos aren't gonna do anything for me because I need a color die to do that. Um, sixes, ones, two. I need to break this guy's shield, so I only need one, one. A one, one, a three, a two. I need one four, one four. So uh, two, two, six, a three. I'll reroll the fives. I gotta hit this guy at least one time. Um, six, reroll the sixes. Uh, twos, this was, here's a six. Um, bunch of twos, don't need them all. Uh, six, I can't see. <laughs> my, my brain went, my, I went cross-eyed there for a second. So, one, three, three, two, one, three, four. Please tell me I got some fives. And six is, oh, yes. Okay. One, I break the shield. He doesn't go down. Two, he goes down one. Three, I need three to move up one. Four, I don't break the shield. Five, goes up. Six, I need two, one of them being yellow, defeated. So when I defeat one, a new conspirator comes out. It is Richard Greystone, which is Brianna Greystone's son. This is the second queen. Uh, colored dice are considered white this round when I roll a one. All right, I shouldn't be blurry anymore, but if I am, let me know. So, one, three, or six, bad news. Um, I didn't get hit, I don't believe. I don't believe I got hit. No, I didn't get hit, so I didn't lose a die. Roll. I rolled a four, not a one, three, or six. I'm still, still grainy. I can put this dice back and determine which one I want. Green, green, green. I'll still take the green again. Uh, next round. Go! Uh, six, three, six, three. All right, ones I can hit now. Fives I need to hit. Four, that guy, oh, the one four will break the shield. I think I'm good. So, that, that, that. Finally get rid of you. And I move up on you. This one, I need four blue dice count twice, so that's enough. That's four to move you up. You don't move up. I need three to move you up. Break your shield. Uh, two, which means I defeat you, so I don't have to worry about getting attacked by you. Oh, come on. Sorry, my table's not conducive to my card play. 
New Conspirator comes out. It is Friend Greenbrush. Choose an enemy and move their battle marker down one space. I hate you, Friend Greenbrush. I hate you. Or Fern. Fern, Friend, whatever your name is. Chad. All right, so, and then this one, this one I broke your shield. Well, that was there. And then this one I need three, where that one goes. A new conspirator appears. I put the green back. Well, half health. Ah, I'll just see what we get. A three. One set of your choice becomes a single this round. Fantastic. That's what I wanted. It's what I wanted. It really isn't what I wanted. I'll pull a blue this time. Uh, next one. Go! Uh, one, one, five, 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 three, three, four, six to go down, one, four, I need two to go up, one, I need two to go up, three, I need, nope, 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 I'm gonna reroll these. If you assign a single to this enemy, move the battle marker down twice. E. So three, one, uh one means nothing. I need I need something better. Five, four, fives, fives, I can hit you. Two, you are up one, so that's okay. Four. I can move you up. Six, I can't move you up. And three. Yes, I can move you up, so I'm I won't take the stain in the round. So five, two. Four and three. So three, I need four. That's what I got. This one will move down one and gain a shield. This one will move up. This one will move up. And that one will do nothing. And then I put the blue back. I determine what I'm going to take. I'll take a green this time. Ah! Shake it up. Ooh, ooh. Uh, let's see. Three, three, three. <laughs> uh, two, two, one. Nope, all these threes got to go. Uh, second, like five, five, three, four. We roll these ones. A one, two, we roll twos. The twos would have been enough to, to get past that milestone, but. Um, fives I need to keep, fours, got a three and a six, so I'll reroll a four. Uh, one, three, and a two, so I've got a six. Six won't hit me. One, I've got enough to move up. Two, not, en two, not enough. Five, I should be able to move up. Three, three here, not enough. Okay, so one blues counts as doubles. Three, so we'll get to all that. Let's get the dice where they belong so we can make sense of it. You have a shield, so two means nothing. So one blue counts as doubles, and I need two, so that's that. So you move up, but I need five to kill you. Um, this nothing happens because you have a shield. This one, uh, green dice counts twice against the enemy, and I need three. You are defeated. Huzzah! New one comes out. It's the um, Braden Knights, greens and yellows. Three to move up. You move down one and you gain a shield. All right, so I need six and two shield. And I've, I've defeated four. I draw a new conspirator. Bella Knight Gleam. Bella Knight Gleam trained us as we were children. Move all dice on the exhaustion track up one space. So when I roll that number, I don't have any dice on the exhaustion trap because I haven't been hit yet. Thank goodness, but... Oh, no, 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 I messed up. I messed up. I rolled um, Tia Strongheart. One of mine was supposed to become a single. Ooh. You were the one that moved up. You moved up, you moved up. So I'm going to move you back down and I have a shield on you because I need to pay attention. I rolled two. Two is not... 
of here. One, three, four, five, and six. <laughs> Two is the last card. Uh, so I'm going to keep the green. Go! Alright, so six. Lots, lots of sixes. Where was that during my uh, Glow McKill 4 playthrough? Uh, let's see, so I've got... Nope, six isn't going to mean anything. I need one six, and I need one four. So ones can reroll fours, because I only need one four and one two, actually. Um, got a bunch of ones. Reroll the twos. Five, five, three. Need to reroll the threes. I just need one, one two, and one four. Uh, one four, one two, five. So there we go. There we go. Yeah, dude. You're you're done. Uh five. I got a two, a four, and a six. So uh group blues count twice, so two, three, four, five, six. That kills you. The final conspirator comes out, so no matter what, something bad's happening. I'll show you who it is in a second. Uh this is the guy who I need to roll singles on or he hurts me. And if you assign set to, yeah, so he hurts me. This, I broke your shield. This, I broke your shield. This is, yep, I knocked you out. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this, I broke your shield. Oh, okay. So, and. So uh, this is a cross between blue and green for what I want. Green, blue's at the top over there, blue's at the top over there. I'm going to hold on to green for the exhaustion. I'm going to re-roll and see what they're going to take away from me now. If you had to turn a group into a single. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. So five. Move all dice in the exhaustion track up one space. I have none because I haven't been hit since. So, yay. Um... Da, 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 da. Um, five, six, this was a six, this was a six. Where are you, six? Six, six, five, three, two, five, and a one. I need a one single for that guy. Two, five, that'll move up. Lots of fives, lots of fives. I won't do it, I won't do it. Uh, five. Four, four, six, two ones, no, 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 one, one, a two, 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 three twos, six, so, good, uh, good, three, good, four, very good, six, won't hit him, good enough for me. I'm going to start quoting a bunch of uh, 80s movie references if, you know, like, good enough for me. Five, six. So, one, it's a single, goes up one, because he gets hit with singles. Two, I need three. Three, I need two. Four, I need two. This guy hits me, so I lose a, goes down one, I lose a die. And then he goes back to normal. This goes back. All right, that's what I got to work with. A four. Choose an enemy and move their battle marker down one space. All right. All right. Ah, let's go. Four, six. Uh, five. That's not, that will not work. This won't stand. Uh, five. Oh. One, fours. Sixes. Come on. You were a four. You were not a one. You were a four. Stop lying to me. Five. I got one, four, four, and two, and six. Got it. In my round. One. Two. Oh, and uh because I hit this guy hit me and I I'm uh he moved down. He got a shield because I only put one on him. Why didn't I grab these? 
<laughs> That's how out of it I was. I completely didn't grab uh, my three dice from over here. I was rolling blind. I was rolling blind the entire time. That's depressing. So one goes up. I'm going to put these back in there. That's my own fault. I saw, I, I eventually saw it. I eventually saw it. I, I skate uphill constantly. Move down. I didn't defeat anybody. Oh, goodness. I didn't even do that. Pause, pause, pause. There. I need to choose my dice. Um, I'll choose the blue. <laughs> Redo that round. I'll suffer with it. I'll suffer with it. It was my own fault that I forgot. So I'll suffer with it. Redoing the round would be cool, but it's when I mess up, you know, that's how I learn. So not two ones. No, sir. Uh, twos, sixes. So twos. Uh, I need three, but that's okay. I won't get hit. Threes. I'm good to go up. I'm good to go up. I'm not good to go up, but I won't get hit. And one more hit and I'm dead, so let's do that. So twos, threes, fours. All right, nothing on you. You, um, nope. You, yep. You, yes, sir. Because one has to be green, and you three one, but one has to be green, no go. This slides down one, blue dice goes back. I'm gonna go with the blue still. Still. I handicapped myself and didn't even know it. I should let you know how intense the game is, like I rolled without dice, and I don't ever want to do that because I like dice. Okay, so I don't need two ones. I got one one, three twos, one three, three fours, one six. One six will hit me, a three will not hit me, but what about fours? I would kill that guy. Twos, I, can't, I just don't want to get hit. Um, so four, five, two, and three. Um, I'll reroll fives. No, 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 I don't want that. This was a six. Okay, so one, one, four. Gotta reroll these fours. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Anything but that. All right. So let's see. One, these are threes. Fives, which don't count because he has a shield. Sixes, bunch of twos, and one, four. Okay, so a bunch of twos, but one is a green, so it goes up one. Need five to kill this guy, and only greens and yellows count twice. He moves down, gets a shield, attacks me nothing because he blocks, and that means nothing. All right. A one. Colored dice are considered white this round. So it doesn't matter which one I take. Sure. And this comes back to my hand. Let me get all let me get all this in my hand. So you see it it, it it may roll and you're like, okay, well it feels like the same game, but when you're rolling and trying to deal with you know all these the different variants and the cards that happen, all these all my dice now are now considered white this round because of that conspirator roll, which isn't cool. I don't need three ones. Oh my goodness, I didn't even pay attention to that. Uh fours. Four, four, six, three, two, and a five. Reroll all these fours, because why? Uh, one, two, six, six, five. Um, let roll these sixes. Two, two, five, three. Reroll the threes. Uh, no, reroll the ones. Um, two, two, five, four will destroy the shield. Six will hit me. Five won't mean anything. Reroll that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. A lot of twos. So this guy's dead. Let, let's just let's just say that that's what happens. But I think I'm dead too. So fives, threes, four, six. Six does it. 
So I kill this guy, go to seven. All right, let's take it in order. Uh, this one needs five, so nothing happens there. This one destroys the shield. This one, nothing happens. And then this one goes down and... I've been defeated. So I counted against myself against that roll. I came close, I got six conspirators. But all of the, cons uh, I mean, uh, six enemies defeated. I needed two more, but all the conspirators are out. So no matter what, I'm taking damage. I'm losing something each round. I couldn't have gone up any more on any of the color dice. So this wasn't going to raise. This I can kill. That can go up. And my best hope was to kill this single client elder and then bump one of these two guys out of the way. But now you got to see a different variant, right? Well, two different variants meshed into one. This was the conspirators and the shields. There's the sun and moon, the dragon, the chariots, and the heirloom segment that's on there. And all that does is just constantly switch the game up, makes it harder or easier. The armor makes the game a little easier than the training camp because it buffs you. The dragon, people say, makes things easier, but there's a wild aspect to the dragon to where, like, if you roll a six, I think, something like it, it just goes wild. Uh, so, but it helps you as your friend. Other than that, the chariots work with and against you. Um, the conspirators always work against you. And then there's always just... I got seven out of eight. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I was close. I was very close. So that's pretty much Proving Grounds. Just, let's see, base game. And I gave you conspirators and shields variant. And there's other variants on here too. If you go here and go to advanced... And hopefully this isn't blinding. There's six variants of the game. Dragon Legs, Inspiration pro uh, Powers is the shields and stuff that you get for yourself. Sun and Moon is a lot of fun. One Stop Co-op Shop did a, um, did a solo playthrough with Sun and Moon if you want to see what that's about. Because they did Sun and Moon and Conspirators. Um, chariots is an interesting one as well with the card draws of Chariots that go in there. But it varies basing on what's going on. And as you can see, the game is quick. I mean, it's pretty fast. I played two rounds in under an hour. And so, or a little over an hour, sorry. In a little over an hour, I, pay, I played two completely separate games. So quick to the table. Cleanup is also fast. I mean, you got the little micro pieces, but you can change these out for a different type of piece that you want. And then the board itself is, the health track is five. And you got this board that kind of pops out. And then you just kind of pop it back in. So storage is super simple. Um, so let's take it up and let's chat. Let's bus a round. So what did you think? What did you think of the playthrough? Um, did you enjoy it? Did you think it was fun? Not your style of game? Too fast paced? Let me know. I'm curious. Good, maybe. Maybe good. Like right here in the thumbs range. All right. Well, I mean, I I thought it was, I thought it was a good play. It was close. Um, like I said, it's by Renegade Games. It's one of their, uh, it's their first in their lines, uh, in the line of hero series. So, um, solo hero series. So they have a one more that kickstarted this year. That um, I think it's Warp's Edge. That's what it's called. Warp's Edge. I'm not always in the fast, energetic games though. I think too much. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. I mean, I think too much, too. Um, it's probably one of the reasons I'm staying away from Mage Knight, because I will suffer from analysis paralysis from that game. I watched uh, a few playthroughs of Mage Knight, and the game looks fantastic and amazing, but I will be like, uh, I should do this, or maybe that, or, or maybe this, and I'll just waste a bunch of time trying to figure things out. This one, uh, you only have a set amount of dice, so it's not too bad, but... I mean, you saw a victory condition, you saw a lose condition, so... And the, and the deck is full of just tons of different variants of the, um, the people that you have to fight. The book itself, for people who like to read, it's a good read. It's a very good read. Um, that's really good. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. It's really shorter than the rest, so... Um, like I said, this week's a little different for in terms of my scheduling. So tomorrow um, I'm going to be playing Jaws of the Lion and I'm going to be playing Shadows of Kill Force. So I'm going to play two games on two game Tuesday. 
and then um it won't i won't be back on again until the finale of dark soul sundays which is this sunday coming up and then from there we'll be shuffling in new games the following week um there'll be a new game taking over for shadows of killforth um uh, because that will be the finale of the call that happens next tomorrow and then there'll be a new game coming instead of dark soul sundays there's going to be a new name for what's coming on sundays so that's what we're going to go with all right so all right everybody uh insert key good word here to and goodwill towards everybody and thanks for joining me Thank you for subscribing. I'm trying to get to that 100 mark. Um, but thank you so much to all my subscribers for supporting me. You have no idea what it means, and I appreciate it very much. Everyone, take care, and I'll see you next time.